This is James Elder for Arthur TV in association with Macklin's Gym My Bar. We're in Liverpool today at the Hilton Hotel. Just had the press conference for the kind of rebirth of David Price. He's back. Yeah, yeah well, uh, like I said at the press conference, uh, we've been away. Uh, we've uh, rebuilt David, we've rebuilt his uh, confidence, we've gotten him 10 rounds under his belt, you know, 10 tough rounds and actually a very hot arena at the time and um, you know he's coming back a different guy, you know, like he said up there, he said he, you know, he had two defeats, he's put them behind, behind him and he's back now and you know he's a, you know, he's a supreme talent at heavyweight so we're going to see big things from him. I mean, was it always going to happen? Was you always going to kind of restore his confidence, then bring him back to Liverpool? Was that always the plan? It, it's always been the plan. It may have taken a little longer because of uh, injuries, um, but at the time we felt um, that David needed to step away from his home ground, get some rounds under his belt with not so many people watching, you know, just to, to, to reconstruct himself and, and, and to become, you know, a new, newborn fighter. And, um, you know, I, th I think he's done that. Um, I wouldn't be putting him in, you know, in front of his hometown if I didn't feel confident. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be going for the European title, which would be a massive, massive fight. And uh, I, th I believe he'd be the first uh, Scouse uh, heavyweight champion of Europe. So uh, that'd be an even bigger achievement. So it would be a great night. And I hope we can get that fight done. Um, I've been reading on the forums today. I saw there was talk potentially of a Derek Chisora match. Obviously, we know with this show, logistically, that's not going to be the case now. Um, also, talk of Ustinov, which I found quite quite an interesting opponent for Price as well. Um, Pricey wanted to fight all, both of those guys. They didn't happen for one reason or another. Uh, I believe Chisora would be a great fight after the summer. It'd be a brilliant fight. Ustinov, you know, was a good opponent, but it's not not as attractive as a Chisora fight, of course. Where are we in terms of opponents now then? Is there anything confirmed? Are you nearing talks, nearing we're, rounding this up? We're, we have a purse bid next week for the European title and that would be to face Erkan Tepper. Yeah. Um, whether he wants that fight or not remains to be seen. Um, I know they sparred together. David really wants this fight. Tepper's, you know, he's knocked out a couple of English heavyweights. I believe he knocked out uh, Michael Sprott and perhaps uh, Martin Rogan, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, he's not bad, he's, he's a good fighter. Um, and, you know, it'll be a good, tough test for David. It'll be a proper step up and a step in the right direction as well. Talk of Tony Bellew versus Hernandez in the future as well. That's a great fight, isn't it? You know what, we get on with Tony, we get on with Eddie and we get on with Matchroom. Uh, Van Pablo's a great champion. I believe that would make a great fight. Um, and we'd be more than happy to put that fight on and we've been talking about it for a while now. Would that be in the UK? Is there logistically, will it be in Germany? What, how would that work? I mean, I'd, with, you know, you see Bayou fighting against Cleverly and he, he gets 10,000 fans behind him screaming his name. Um, it would be hard to, of course. hard to match that in Germany. Uh, it'd be a great crowd over here, uh, you know, and it's a tough fight for Tony. There's no doubt about that. Looking at the heavyweights, especially domestically in the UK. There's some great fights over the next 12, yeah. 18 months with David Price. We've mentioned Chisora already. Tyson Fury's mandatory for the Vladimir Klitschko fight. Yeah. Um, you've got likes of the emergence of Dillian White, these kind of people. Will we see him against any domestic heavyweights within the next 12 to 18 months? You didn't mention the name Anthony Joshua. That's another big name, of course. Um, I was going to let you mention that. Yeah, you know, uh, but, you know, of course, there's Derek Chisora, Anthony, uh, who's, you know, he seems to be, you know, to setting all records at the moment. He's he's an immense talent, great athlete. Um, and, you know, I've spoken to David about it and, and you know, David would love to take that fight. Um, we'd, you know, we'd love to take the Chisora fight. Of course, Fury's fighting, hopefully, for the world title against Klitschko. And I hope he, you know, I hope, <laughs> I hope Tyson honestly, you know, beats Klitschko because I think that would, can you imagine that in the mix, you know, and I think he's got the capability, he's got the height, you know, and he's, he's you know, it depends who turns up on the night, the Southpaw, the Orthodox, the, I don't know, the singer, the fighter, um, but I think Tyson has the capability to beat Klitschko. Um, and can you imagine t Tyson against Pricey at Wembley Stadium? That'd be a brilliant event. Absolutely brilliant. All right, well, listen. Four fights back for David Price. We're interested to see him back in his home city and putting on a great show. And uh, thank you for giving me some of your time. Cheers. Thank you, Nick. Thanks.